And those who live on the coast, they are taking every precaution to protect their homes and themselves as Hurricane Hillary creeps a little closer here. This will be a first for many in the state. The last hurricane to come ashore there was in 1939. Many airlines are issuing statements to travelers whose flight plans are disrupted by Hillary. Those eligible, they will get refunds, waivers and free rebookings. That includes locally based American and Southwest Airlines. All right, let's get to meteorologist Asia Wilson with a look at the storm's path and intensity right now. All right, good morning, Cleo. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, definitely a different situation for Southern California, one they're not used to. Unfortunately, uh, many Texas residents are familiar with the wrath that a hurricane can cause, but the situation in California, first tropical storm to hit the southern coast there in 84 years. So you can see the location. It is just the eye of the storm is just south of San Diego. It is traveling around 21 miles per hour, so not moving that fast. But the winds as a category one hurricane are currently 80 mile per hour sustained winds. And look at this rainfall that it is going to dump as it continues to travel in a northwest direction. And we are expecting this rainfall to really pick up across the portions of Southern California as well into parts of Utah. Nevada, Arizona, you could see up to 10 inches of rainfall in parts of San Diego, San Diego County, as well as Orange County, and they do expect possible rainfall rates to be up to three inches an hour. So you can just imagine how much rain it's going to dump on that area. So obviously, definitely a cause for concern there. That means that you're dealing with, of course, the possibility of flooding. You have flash flood watches all along the coast there, the southern portion of California, where we're seeing um, this approach and then you also have extremely strong wind gusts and then California you're dealing with the possibility of landslides as well as mudslides. Here's a look at the flood watch that we're dealing with in that portion of the country. So the area in green, which you can see, as I mentioned before, encompasses part of Nevada, Arizona, Utah, even Idaho as a result of this rain. Now, once it starts to hit land, it will weaken and we're going to continue to follow that uh, system and update you on any changes. Cleo? All right, a lot going on there, Stacia. Thank you. Now that tropical war uh, tropical storm warning for Hillary impacts more than 40 million Americans. They're at risk of flash flooding and extreme winds, like Stacia mentioned. Lionel Mosi has the latest on decisions from emergency officials. Sandbags in high demand in the southwest. Thousands given out in San Diego alone as Hillary heads towards the region. I need to emphasize this is a large storm with a huge footprint, unlike what we usually see in San Diego. The life-threatening storm is expected to bring heavy rains with the potential for devastating flash flooding and even mudslides. Forecasters say the storm could drop a year's worth of rain in some areas in just 48 hours. The biggest will be flooding. That's what it's looking like because of all the rain coming down. We don't have the infrastructure to be dealing with this. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office issued evacuation warnings Saturday for several communities. Make no mistake, this is a very, very dangerous and significant storm. In San Clemente, crews set out plastic tarps hoping to guard against possible mudslides. Along the coast, crews work to build massive sand berms to protect from waves. It's kind of unbelievable. I mean, this is unprecedented. Is LA prepared for this? Uh, I doubt it. And since we can't handle normal rain, I doubt we'll be able to handle this type of rain. FEMA's administrator says she's been in contact with the governors of both California and Nevada, promising federal support. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.